Hey guys, Hunter here from VW World. We're gonna take a quick look at the interior on this 2019 Atlas SE with tech. The exterior of this is that beautiful silk blue, but let's take a closer look inside. So on the rear here, you can see the, right there next to the backup camera, we have our button for the power lift gate. Take a look inside here with all the seats down. We have 96.8 cubic feet of space back here. Quite a bit of room. Pulled up this third row so you can take a little look at it. There's a little strap you can pull up on. Get that third row to pop up. And then you have adjustable headrest for this third row as well. You can see that second row, since it's adjustable, it slides forward and back. It's so all the way back right there and there's still a decent amount of room in that third row. Let's walk around to that second row. We'll hit the button here to close the hatch. Here you can see the second row. We have captain's chairs in this one with the Titan black leatherette interior. Underneath here, there's a little bar so you can slide the seat forward and back. So there's that second row all the way back. You can see how much room is actually there. It's, it's a lot of room. And then as easy as folding this forward, the seat will actually pivot, pointing the rear cushion lower and then slides forward. So you got all that room to get into the third row. It makes it really easy for adults to get back here too. Let's flip this third row up a little bit. So there's with both seats up in the third row. The headrests are down. They slide up easy by just pushing up on them. And then pushes back down so you have all that visibility when that third row is up and you're driving is convenient with these captain's chairs as far as getting into the third row too you just have all this space so also on the se with tech we'll have the three zone climate control so right in here you can kind of see your controls the row and then you look further down we'll have the two usbs and the 12 volt although neither one of these will power your apple carplay in android auto on the screen they'll have to be either the uh, very front USB or the one in the center console. But now let's walk around getting the driver's seat. And before I leave here, you can see the cup holder and the door down below. But you also have the rear screen. This goes up, clips up, nice sunshade. Actually works pretty nicely when it's really bright out. But anyways, let's get back over to that driver's seat. All right, so here it is, the main driver's seat. This one kind of has that wood trim. It's around by that metallic finish. The unlock and lock the one touch up and down on all four windows. Adjustable mirrors with the heated mirrors there on the far side. Down below we have uh, another button for that power rear hatch. Our power seat. The seats in this are actually nice and firm, keep you in place. Side bolstering really does a good job of keeping you right in the middle when you're going around turns. One does have auto lights. We'll hop in here, check it out a little bit better. So here's a main look at the steering wheel here. We'll uh, actually start it up here. Push button start has a proxy sensor in the key, so the key just has to be inside the vehicle. We have not popped that rear hatch up completely. We'll open it back up and close it. I may have pulled that mat too far far back. But anyways, we have our driver's assistance features right here. Our volume controls, cruise, our uh, voice commands. This basically controls just the whole little screen right in front of you up here. So you can kind of go through these folders and select what you want. 
Again, we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this, aside from the Bluetooth, which just has to be connected into the USB between the auxiliary and 12 volt down there, or in the center console here, that USB in there will also power your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Here are your climate controls. <clears throat> Got the dual climate up front here, and then the third or three zone, so the extra zone in the rear. It's as simple as turning it. Three level heated seats on each side. Looking down here, we have our center shifter, and we have driver sport, and then the trip tonic off to the right. All our modes for the four wheel drive four motion system. So if you just turn it, see off-road, off-road, custom, go back to snow, and normal. And then you could just push this button too, this mode button. You'll get the other modes like the eco, normal, sport, or custom. Actually, when you go into this off-road custom, you can actually uh, go through all your settings on what you want everything to do behave like she pretty handy and we also have our center electronic parking brake which is as simple as pulling back on it you get the light button when it's on push the brake and it's off and above the uh infotainment system we have a nice little it's kind of like almost a rubberized material for like your phone nice big open space here put a variety of things and then the rest of the dash dash is kind of the ditch it's a softer feeling material it's actually pretty nice it's not very plasticky or anything like you find in a lot of vehicles so everything's actually pretty nice to touch and up top here of course we just have our sunglass holder and our carnet system lighting settings and then more of that uh i don't know if i care for it too much kind of that wood look but it, it works fine Overall, that is a quick look at the interior on this 2019 Atlas SE with technology. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below and we'll make sure to answer any questions you may have. And like always, remember to hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel and we'll make sure to keep bringing you guys more fun, interesting Volkswagen videos and uh, kind of tailor make them to what you guys are asking for. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more to come.